sense. Um, let me ask you. So you've lived in Brazil, China, Taiwan, Cambodia, Vietnam, Hong Kong, and Tanzania. So that's a lot of places. Right. Let me just ask you, between you know the fellas, uh-oh. What places do you think the girls had the best for JJ? Look like Asia. Who was the freaks? Yeah, man? Asia. All the fellas out there. Asia. The women wow. in like Vietnam, that like Asian women, they have tighter pussy. Really? I'm, not holding, I'm not even holding nothing, but listen. Really? I had listen. Colors. <laughs> Colors. <laughs> Look at her alert. Look at her alert. Listen, I'm telling you, listen, you get the right Asian woman, get UFC, you will be tapping out. Wow. Wow. There you, there you go, fellas. Best, listen, best pussy I've had was like, you know, this, this girlfriend, you know, uh, Bahamas. You know, she was up, but like the bit, like a lot of Asian women, their pussies are tighter. And that's that's why, like, sometimes you ever see like a big dude, his wife is like half his size. Yeah, I've seen that's that. Cause, that's because her pussy game is, I'm telling you, man, a lot of women got their pussy game on lock. God damn. So, well, hold up. I would have yeah. swore Brazil. I thought he was going to say Brazil, man. Brazil. <laughs> I was not expecting I'm going to be you honest man. with you, man. Like, I don't even like Brazilian women. They're whack. They can't dress. Their hair's all fucked up. A lot of the Brazilian chicken, now they can fuck, but like, and like, they, oh, man. they, they try to wow. it for you. They try, they got that, they got an ass game, but like, like, tuck, you know, I'm not really into Brazilian what? women. Clark, are you serious? Yeah, man, Brazilian, you know what it is, man? Brazilian women, they cannot dress. And listen, you, 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 it's like their style is like lean, bro. And they don't know how to do their hair properly. It's, I'm not, I'm not into them at all. You about to get wow. canceled. Man, they're going to cancel you, Clark. <laughs> listen, I, listen, I so live there. Listen, question, right? brother, yeah, go ahead. No, no, not to go off, but I know you into martial arts. Yeah. Did you ever get into the Brazilian art forms, like the, the what was it, Kappa? Uh, Kappa Rea? Yeah, Kappa so, Rea. Well, Kappa Rea, I talk about this in my book. Like, Kappa Rea, uh, when I got into it, I was trying to learn how to dance. And when I went to some of these, like, opens here in New York City, Caparea is more for fighting. Um, but I learned Brazilian Jiu Jitsu when I went to Rio. And um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is probably like the most rewarding martial art I had ever learned because, you know, it's something like you learn it and you don't have to spend several weeks to get a return on investment. You, you, you're in there for several months and you can know how to take someone's life very easily. So wow. all you have to do is apply yourself. It's, I, I think, and I mentioned this in the book, I recommend an all quote unquote black men study Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So how, how long did it take you to actually pick up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? <clears throat> oh, so like I was in Vigigal, which is a favela, and I didn't speak Portuguese at an academic level. Right. And I was fortunate that there was a guy in class who spoke some broken English. Mm -hmm. So the first few weeks I was in there, I didn't really get the understanding of how to roll and, and so forth. So mm. like I was coming in with like a street wrestling attitude and they were just choking the shit out of me. I, I'm a, I passed out a few times, but it was good. But I have to say like, maybe like three months before I felt comfortable working through stuff. And mm. I think that's one of the benefits of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Like, cause my entire life, like if I had a street fight and somebody's you know, grappling with me, I'm getting yeah. tense. Yeah. But Brazilian Jiu Jitsu teaches you to work under pressure Oh, wow. and, and not only because when I was in Taiwan, I had tried somebody to try to kill me. This guy was trying to choke me out in the middle of the street. And I had used some traditional martial arts, but the bottom, the bottom line was he was trying to choke me. He was like, he had a bad uh, headlock. So traditional martial arts, they teach you to put your hand over your nose. So as long as you can still breathe, somebody can choke you all you want, but you can still breathe. Oh, wow. So, but being in Brazil, he was doing this for like a minute or two and he was sweating and I'm up there, I'm relaxed. And I was like, man, as soon as I get in, I'm gonna knock this guy, man, I broke free. Man, I lit that guy up so badly. That was like the yeah. worst I'd ever beat anyone. Damn, dude. His face was leaking, man.